An orchard owner is growing apple trees on an acre of property. If she grows 50 trees on the acre, she'll get 800 apples to grow on each tree. For every additional tree that she plants, there will be 10 fewer apples grown on each tree because they'll be fighting for resources. Furthermore, she knows she can sell each apple for 25 cents and that it costs $5 to maintain each tree. We would like to know how many trees she should grow for the maximum possible yield, in other words, the most apples possible. We would also like to know what the maximum possible yield is, in other words, how many apples is it possible for her to grow. We want to know the maximum possible revenue. We want to know how many trees she should grow for the maximum possible profit. And as well, we want to know what the maximum possible profit is. We begin by letting x be the number of trees above 50 grown on the acre. What we then get is that our yield is going to be the number of trees times the number of apples on a tree. So she begins with 50 trees and then grows a certain number of trees above that. She also begins with 800 apples on each tree and loses 10 for every tree that she grows. This means that we have a quadratic formula, a quadratic equation representing the number of apples grown. It's an upside down parabola. Uh, we know it's opening downwards because the coefficient on x squared is negative when we expand it out. Well we have two zeros. Our first zero here is going to be at x equals negative 50 and our second zero which we get from this factor will be at x equals 80. We can find our axis of symmetry now, and we see that our axis of symmetry is at 15. Since this is a downward opening parabola, that means that our maximum yield possible will occur when x equals 15. Well, remember, the number of trees is 50 plus x. So that means if x equals 15, 50 plus x is 65. Our farmer should grow 65 trees to be able to maximize her yield. Okay, we move to part B. Part B asks us what the maximum possible yield would be. Well, if uh, x value of 15 gives us that maximum possible yield, what we do is simply sub 15 in for x in the yield equation. Subbing in a 15 for x and evaluating gives us a grand total of 42,250 apples. That's the most apples that she can possibly obtain on the farm under these conditions. Moving on then to our next one, we want to figure out the maximum possible rate, uh, the maximum possible revenue. Well, she knows she makes 25 cents per apple, and she knows there's a direct correlation between the number of apples and the revenue. In other words, revenue is simply 0 0.25 times the yield. In other words, revenue is 0 0.25 times y at x. Well, y at x is equal to 50 plus x quantity times 800 minus 10x quantity. The x value of the ver vertex in that case would still be 15. So all we need to do is plug in an x value of 15 to our revenue formula. Well, r at x is 0 0.25 times 50 plus x times 800 minus 10x. So when x equals 15, the revenue is $10,562.50. That's our maximum possible revenue. The question then gets even more complicated. It tells us about the cost to the orchard owner of maintaining all the trees. Specifically, it says that for every tree that the uh, orchard owner chooses to grow, it's going to cost her $5 in maintenance. So we see that her revenue is what we said it was in Part C, but the cost is going to be the number of trees times the cost to her of maintaining each tree. In other words, the cost is going to be 50 plus x times 5. Well, we know that profit is equal to revenue minus cost, so that means that p at x is equal to r at x minus c at x. And we get this formula by combining these two formulas and subtracting one from the other. We get this formula for our profit. Now this, when we expand it all out and collect like terms, is 
a downwards opening parabola. To determine the x value of the vertex, in other words, the x value that provides the maximum possible profit, we engage partial factoring right here. And we get an axis of symmetry at x equals 14. So that means if she actually wants to maximize her profit, instead of growing uh, 15 additional trees for a total of 65, she only needs to grow uh, 14 additional trees for a total of 64. We then want to determine what the maximum possible profit is, so we sub an x value of 14 into the profit formula. And when we do that, we evaluate it out to be 10,240, which means the maximum possible profit that our orchard owner can make under these conditions is $10,240.